sergeant from West Bloomfield Fire Department, Sergeant Blake Belsky. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. I uh, thank you so much for having me. We appreciate it. So we just briefly went over a few things, but we want to hear from the professional himself. Uh, can you just tell us, with this heat advisory in place for today, what steps should we take in order to really uh, fight this heat on, uh, going on today? It sounds like, from what I could hear, it sounds like you covered some of the big points. Uh, the most important one is going to be, if you can avoid the heat at all, stay inside. Uh, if you have a job that requires you to be outside, if you just insist on getting some of that yard work done today, make sure you're staying hydrated, make sure you're keeping an eye on how your body's reacting to the high temperatures and high humidity out there. If you stop sweating, that's a problem, call us. If you start feeling funny, that's a problem. Call 911, mm -hmm. get the fire department out there to help. And that's a great question. I mean, great points that you brought up, but I have to touch on this part too. For those who are staying inside, but they may not have air conditioners or fans or things of that nature. What other resources do we have available? Are there any cooling centers available and things of that nature? So there are cooling centers around the county. I'm not aware of any in West Bloomfield, but we do have a lot of public facilities that people are certainly welcome to go into. Okay. We've got the, the, the two branches of the library, which are very nicely air conditioned and uh, plenty of great books to keep you occupied while you stay out of the heat. Uh, go, go find a movie, go get some ice cream. Uh, whatever you can do to stay inside and stay cool, find a place where you can do that safely. Great point. Great point. With us right here live on the Splash, Sergeant for West Bloomfield Fire Department, Blake Belsky. We appreciate your time and your information. For people who may be outside, still tending to some things that they have to do regardless being outside, what are some signs, some symptoms that they may be experiencing some heat-related illnesses? So the biggest thing is to make sure that you're staying hydrated. Uh, pay attention to how your body's reacting. You know what's normal for you, typically. If you're working outside and all of a sudden you find you're getting more tired more quickly than, than you're used to, time to take a break, time to get some extra water. Uh, if you find that for some reason you have stopped sweating, uh, that is kind of a late sign of uh, heat stroke, heat exhaustion. Uh, that is a time to get somewhere safe and call 911 and get help uh, before your body starts really having a, an unfortunate reaction. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a completely different sign and symptom of heat-related illness. If you're stopping, you're sweating, that definitely seems like some reason to call the fire department or our, uh, our, our, our health department, I'll show 911, I should say, as well. How does our local fire department um, actually collaborate or team up with local organizations and things of that nature to kind of help in these type of heat advisories in our local community? Well, first is education. Uh, we love getting on with Splash and, and sharing the information that we have available to us. Mm -hmm. uh, second is responding to those emergencies, those calls for help. If, uh, if we get a call to someone who's suffering from dehydration, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, uh, we have the ability in the West Bloomfield Fire Department to start treating those symptoms and then transporting that patient to a hospital, make sure that they are uh, attended to properly. Great, great, great. And we appreciate that work as well. Uh, as well. Uh, and join us right here live on the splash from West Bloomfield Fire Department, Sergeant Blake Belsky. Any other additional important information that we should know while we are experiencing this heat advisory today and this week? Uh, today, I don't know if you can hear it. We've got some uh, pretty severe thunderstorms going on right now. So <laughs> just another reason to stay inside. Uh, but keep an eye on the weather. Plan ahead. Uh, I think I heard you say wear some light clothing. It sounds counterintuitive sometimes, but maybe consider wearing long sleeves and pants to keep the the sun from hitting your skin directly, causing mm. any sunburn or advanced dehydration like that. But the important thing is going to be to plan uh, and, and hydrate. Great, great point. And once again, we appreciate your time and your information just so we can all keep cool and stay uh, stay um, away from the sun <laughs> during this time. Once again, thank you again for your time. Sergeant for West Bloomfield Fire Department, Blake Belsky, we appreciate you. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it.